We're in a little town called Raven's Hope. It's 147 kilometres uh, southwest of Cairns on the Atherton Tablelands. The town is the highest town in Queensland, so consequently it's got the highest pub, the highest road, and it gets two to three metres of rain per year. In 1880, a stand of cedar was found in this area. So the timber cutters moved in and a timber industry grew up around this place. In 1987, the then Federal Minister of Environment, Graeme Richardson, came to town informing the town that this rainforest area was going to be World Heritage listed. Obviously the town wasn't impressed because of the timber. They declared the town would die. There were huge protests, but it still happened. The town obviously didn't die, but now it's a rural and a touristy town. It's a good little place to visit. There's lots of rainforests that you can go walking in. There's so many waterfalls here. The Miller Miller Falls actually formed before they were was water here, it was lava. So it was, what you can see behind me was a lava flow that came over the hill, cut the path down through there. Then as it cooled, the tubes you can see contracted and then the water washed the dirt out from between them. So it makes for an interesting fall, but this is a really picturesque little spot. Behind me you can see what they call the cathedral fig. It's absolutely monstrous. The host tree is now dead and it's the uh, fig trees thriving. And uh, if you look up in the canopy, all those big fairy bits are called ephelites. See, I learnt that in Prophet Solomon. Now this particular cathedral fig, so named because of its cathedral type shape at the bottom, has a girth of 72 metres and um, 40 people could link hands around the base of it and uh, it still wouldn't go right around. Um, I would say that that would depend on how long their arms are. The fig here is estimated to be 500 years old. Now we're just going to try and capture how far these roots underneath our feet go. Um, but I would estimate that one of them disappears out there into the forest at least 40 or 50 metres and continues out of sight. A bit disappointing, we went down to see the Tully Falls um, there's no water. Now not only is it because of the dry season but in two places upstream it's been diverted for hydroelectricity. So I suppose the need for power overpowers the uh, um, scenery. The amazing thing about this curtain fig tree is it grew up on the left hand tree originally and then strangled it and then the strangler fig caused it to fall over onto the big one and hence the curtain as it seeks the ground to grow. I'm standing on top of a place called Windy Hill and uh, the background noise will tell you why it's very aptly named. It's just north of Raven's Ho. This wind farm, which was supplied by the Germans, generates enough power for two small towns, three and a half thousand houses. Uh, they're extremely noisy. They're 40 metres high and the blades are 22 metres in length. If you like this spot and this video, give me a thumbs up, make a comment and share to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe.